Welcome to the channel, it's Ibua, and I appreciate that you're here with me tonight. Look, we are in the most powerful, the most expensive Haval Jolion Pro. So basically, this is the ultra luxury, meaning everything you want to get in a Jolion, you will find in here. But hey, tonight, we just want to see our drives and let's start it. You see? starts quietly the only thing that's going to tell you that this thing is ready is when it's telling you on the screen up here that it's ready because this is an hev meaning that it starts mostly on electric motor and then it switches over to the internal combustion engine but hey look here is the camera system at night you know how haval does it it's actually quite clean but when i think about it comparing it to the cherries I think Cherry does a clean one, especially at night like this. But hey, the features, ah, no, this thing has angles for days. But hey, let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So this is the Ultralux HEV, which is the most powerful one. It comes with 140 kilowatts and 340 newton meters of torque. And believe me, it does actually pull, eh? It does actually pull. And it's making me realize that maybe um, small engine plus turbo is not always the solution because this is natural aspirated and it's obviously powered by a 1.5 liter engine. That is a natural aspirated engine, by the way, and it's paired to an electric motor. I think the engine itself is bringing about 70 something kilowatts and then the electric motor brings over 100 kilowatts. And I have to say, when it's on the move like this, the cohesion, the marriage, the understanding, I think switching between electric motor and the internal combustion engine is so seamless that I think this 
marriage i just i applaud her well for it especially because this is a very small engine especially a 1.5 liter natural aspirated engine that is taking at around 70 something kilowatts you're expecting it that it's going to be slow but this thing it is not slow in any way i think in some way i think it does actually even perform much better than the table chest engine that you'll find with the 105 kilowatts and 210 newton meters of torque in the other Julians as well except for the Julian Sport but hey more of that is going to come when we're comparing them we're talking about them during the day tonight we are in a dark night in a way because this road is actually quite dark but I think so far looking at the exterior lighting you can see that they're actually doing a better job I don't want to say a great job because I have some quarrels I can see where they end and that is my problem if you look properly in the video you'll see that they cut somewhere and I said this in the Haval H2 before that the lighting when it comes to these LEDs that they're putting in here there is a little bit of a limit in terms of how far they go and I don't like that I like lights that are just seamless in where they end and I can clearly see that even 100 meters I'm seeing exactly where I'm going even when I don't do high beams and in here sometimes when i'm on high beams i even forget because i feel like oh this is a little bit normal as much as they're illuminating quite well and i can literally do like or you can drive fast even at night because then they're illuminating quite well when you're on high beams i feel like i'm comfortable with high beams and people have to remind me that hey you're dazzling us and that's when i remember that oh by the way i am actually dazzling other people but hey when it's on high beams I can't complain much low beams yeah i can complain here and there but they're okay because they stretch quite well on the road you can even see on the far right as well i can't complain much about them and you would have seen at the beginning of the video when it comes to interior lighting i can't complain much this thing has proper led lights interior wise and because the roof as well is quite light it's lighter than the dark one as much as the seats are dark and everything else it does actually a great job when it comes to the lighting one thing that you would have noticed is the boot space that is eaten by the batteries at the back yo this thing doesn't have enough boot space but again we'll talk more about that in the main review as well that we're gonna do and hey i think overall despite the fact that i am so like i don't know how i feel about the fact that this ambient lighting that is doesn't stretch to the dashboard because you can see that it does illuminate on the side of the doors as well it does change colors you can play around with the colors as well right now i put it on this mode that is called breathe breathe mode or something and it does change colors when it's breathing and so on from purple to blue but i realized that when you drive over 90 kilometers i think it it brightens up the lights i don't know why that is maybe you guys can tell me why it's doing that but again i can't complain much because they decided to use like um white illumination on the buttons overall so because of that it does add some ambience in the cabin it doesn't make you feel like you know what i mean an old car or anything like that and because the graphics as well on the screens are crisp and you can also see with this um what is this thing now in front of me hud uh you can see very well that it shows you the speed very well it doesn't necessarily cause any like it doesn't disturb me in any way so i think from lighting perspective the car overall i'm okay with it i can't complain much with it it can be better on the exterior lighting and now when i'm looking at what it offers on the road you know we can not talk about the sound system look i've always to improve some stuff on the sound systems which is something that i think for me this six speaker sound system it needs some tweaking here and there because this car is not that loud when you're driving it even now the wind noise is quite minimal it's a little bit comfortable it's sitting on big tires as well 225 55 18 inches that's not a small tire it's not a like a low profile tire it helps a lot when it comes to this and suspension as well man it soaks the bumps quite well so from that perspective i think the in cabin noises and everything else they've done well with the insulation as much as this sound system you can hear the tones and everything else there's rattling that i feel in the speakers i think the left speakers the left speaker the passenger one in front it 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 gives me a little bit of a, uh, anxiety a bit because yeah you know when it comes to sound system let me just play it for you
that's how it sounds this is speaker in-house sound system yeah i think even the h61 is better with the eight speakers this one yeah it's not necessarily for me yes it does play well you can actually manage to just play the sound system and do a long journey in it and not complain much but yeah i wouldn't be that much satisfied but looking at the price point as well I, i'm not sure if you're gonna find a car that has so much spec we're gonna talk about that again in the main review you know what i don't want to talk a lot because at night when i talk a lot you guys say hey you know what you're just talking over and over so yeah i'm gonna leave you here and then one thing maybe that i'm gonna tell you is that this car does have actual it has drive modes but i left it on normal and i didn't want to change it uh, like over and over because it doesn't really change much it has eco it has normal it has sport and snow i think but i'm leaving it on normal because i feel like that is more optimal you'll just see how it performs as well and i'll play the sound system again i think on the way so that you can see how it performs as well otherwise you know how we do it at night i'm not gonna spend too much time talking i hope you enjoy the rest of the journey everything else that you want we can say it in the comments and we'll address it in the main review let's continue our journey thank you so much